Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can separate character or any object from video using Rotobrush. So hope this tutorial will be useful and by the end of this tutorial, if you have learned anything new from this, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects, now let's start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. For that, right click on this project panel, import, select your footage or else you can directly drop your footage by simply dragging and drop it onto this project panel. Now again, select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here so that it creates a composition with the footage properties. Nice. Now let's check the preview of this footage. Press 0 for RAM preview. So this is a royalty free footage which I have downloaded from pexels.com. Download link in the description if you want to practice this roto brush on the same footage so let me disable the sound we don't need that okay so in this footage i want to separate this cat from the background so here we can either do masking or we can do roto so here i will be doing this roto so let me change this let it be full only so now select the footage layer click on this roto brush tool here and double click on this footage layer okay so if you want to increase the brush size of this roto brush hold control left mouse and simply drag upwards to increase the brush size and move downwards to reduce the brush size so here you can see the indication is in green with the plus sign in between indicates that whichever we draw it will be selected so if you want to deselect anything hold alt key it turns to red and now simply draw on the area that you want to deselect so you can see we deselected this one okay now let's select this cat here so let me reduce the brush size hold control key left mouse downward okay so make sure the resolution is set to full now let's select this character simply draw on the character So once the character is selected, simply press spacebar for the next frames to get calculated automatically. So you can pause this by pressing spacebar once again and we can adjust this roto at any frame. So after adjusting, again press spacebar to play once again. So this calculates only few frames. Here you can see the range. So from here to here only it calculates. So after moving few frames forward, just pause this calculation. Simply select the character once again like this. So this range meter will increases. So again, continue. So here you can see our roto is done. So if I click on this, alpha overlay you can see we got our cat here without background so if i move on to this composition window we'll get rid of that background and we will have only our character here so let me increase this further to 25 so that we will get this smooth edges nice so now let's move back to this project once again again select your footage layer and drop it below to this rotoed layer so this above layer is the rotoed layer and this below layer is our footage which we are using again so in order to make this bit interesting let's look for tintin effects and presets panel so if you're not finding this effects and presets here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for tint so select this tint and drop it onto this below layer so here you can see we got our character in color rest background in tint effect so here we can add text also if you want so let me show you that one so select this layer click on this text icon and let me add and catch so let me increase the scaling okay so here you can see the text will be behind our character only so if we place this text about our rotor layer it comes on the character 
so drag it below to our rotor layer so that it will be behind our character so if you want to change color we can change that so i will be changing this to red and let me apply shadow also so go to this effects and presets once again and look for shadow now select this drop shadow and drop it onto this text opacity 100 and distance 50 okay in this way we can use this roto brush to separate our characters or any objects from footage easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye